Sheikha Latifa bint Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum was born on 5 December 1985. She is an Emirati Sheikha and a member of the Dubai ruling family. Her father is Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He is the Prime Minister of the UAE. Her mother is Huria Ahmed Lamara who is from Algeria. She has two half-sisters with the same name. She is the full sister of Sheikha Maitha who was born in 1980. The other sister is Sheikha Shamsa Al Maktoum who was born 1981. And her brother is Sheikh Majid who was born in 1987. Sheikha Latifa escaped from Dubai in late February 2018. She was forcibly returned from international waters near the Indian coast by a joint India Emirates operation on 4 March 2018. In December 2018, the Dubai Royal Court said that she was back in Dubai. In a video statement, Sheikha Latifa said that she and her brother Sheikh Majid spent their early childhood under the care of their paternal aunt. Her early education was at the Dubai English Speaking School and later at the International School of Chufat, with one year at the Latifa School for Girls. She is an experienced skydiver. She was coached by former world champion skydiver Stefania Martinengo, and held accelerated freefall instructor rating. On 24 February 2018, Sheikha Latifa and her Finnish friend Tina Jauhiainen left Dubai in a car and crossed the border to Oman. They left Oman on jet skis and joined American French citizen and former French intelligence officer Hervé Jobert and his crew on the yacht Nostromo. Two days later, she made contact with British-based attorney Rada Sterling of detained in Dubai. She notified her of her departure from Dubai. She posted a few departing messages on her social media account, detailing the circumstances and reasons for her departure. On 3 March 2018, Joe Burt made contact with an Indian journalist in preparation for the end of their journey. The following day, Sheikha Latifa, Joe Burt and Jauhiainen, along with the crew of three Philippine nationals, were intercepted by Indian authorities while approaching Goa. On 9 March 2018, the Daily Mail broke the news of the disappearance of Nostromo and those aboard, after being contacted by Sheikha Latifa's representatives. She had made a 39-minute video before the escape attempt, to be released in case her life was in danger. And it was made public on the 11th of March 2018. It was recorded at Jauhianan's apartment. It explains her family background and the circumstances leading to her decision to flee. In the video, she also accuses her father of maltreatment of her and her sister Shamsa along with other serious charges, including murder. The Finnish National Bureau of Investigation confirmed the disappearance of Jauhiainen. It opened an investigation in collaboration with the Finnish Ministry for Foreign Affairs. The brother of Jauhiainen confirmed her friendship with Sheikha Latifa. On 20 March 2018, Nostromo was spotted at the port of Fujaira in the UAE. It left the next day for Sri Lanka with the released crew, including Joe Burt and three Philippine nationals, on board. Nostromo reached Gaul, Sri Lanka, on 2 April 2018. On 22 March 2018, Sheikha Latifa's companion Jauhiainen was found. IT prompted the Finnish Ministry for Foreign Affairs to terminate its search in cooperation with the Dubai authorities. The location where Jauhiainen was found, though details of prior events were not shared officially. According to her family she returned from Dubai to Finland that night. A number of people were detained or interrogated in connection to the event in UAE and Oman. A notable national Christian Elombo whose family is living in Luxembourg is one of them. Elombo spent more than a month in custody in Oman. After being released without charge, he was again taken into custody in Luxembourg for 41 days under an Interpol red notice issued by the UAE. The notice was later retracted without notification or producing any evidence for the cited kidnapping charges. In December 2018, prior to the release of a BBC Two documentary Escape from Dubai, The Mystery of the Missing Princess, the Dubai Royal Court released a statement saying that Latifa was safe at home. On 25 December, photographs taken on 15 December were released showing Latifa alongside Mary Robinson, former United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights and former President of Ireland. Source, Wikipedia, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.